Hello, welcome back to tier list making. Today's tier lists we got are none other than the beautiful, the, the beautiful characters, the beautiful Fox X-Men universe movies. This will cover every X-Men movie in tw that 20th Century Fox had a hand in. Whether it be a spin-off, a mainline, a solo, whatever. Just as long as it's not Fantastic Four. As long as it's just X-Men, I think we will be fine, ladies and gentlemen. So, without further ado, I think it's time that we rank these bad boys, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's time that we rank them accordingly and precisely. Now remember, we have our lists. We got the I love it tier for movies I absolutely adore and I feel like are the best in the franchise, right? We got the good for pretty good movies. They're not my favorite, but they are really good movies. We got the meh for the movies that are mid-tier. And let's face it, don't usually get talked about much for a couple reasons. But they aren't bad, but they also aren't good. We got bad for pretty bad movies, as in they were very boring to watch or they just weren't that good or meh and then we got complete shit tier which is the worst movies in the franchise and trust me there's quite a few for movies i think belong in the shit tier so without further ado I think it's time that I rank these bad boys from every single movie in the franchise, starting with none other than X-Men 1, a great movie. I don't love it, but it's good. I put X-Men 1, which was released in 2000, at good. The reason I put it at good is because, well... It's good. It has a bunch of flaws. Trust me, it does have a shitload of flaws. But it, you, you are willing to look past those flaws. Trust me, you are. You are. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I might want you to calm down. But X-Men 1, it was great. It introduced us to... Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, if you didn't know. And if you guys know, he is set to come back as Wolverine. And boy, are we excited for that. Not to mention this film had a whole lot going for it. And it was just good. X2 is the same. However, I put it lower than X-Men 1. For a pretty big reason is that it was a major downgrade compared to the first X-Men movie. The reason I make it lower than that is because, well, some of the CGI sucks. <laughs> That's mainly the reason. The Juggernaut isn't as big as he is in the comics. And I'm the Juggernaut bitch. That saves it from going to meh. So, it would be meh. But I'm Juggernaut Bitch Line really brings it to good. Woo! Up next, we got Last Stand, which I will put at meh. It was the end of the original X-Men trilogy. X-Men The Last Stand wasn't beautiful. It wasn't horrible it wasn't bad but it also wasn't good or beautiful 
it was mid tier. I'll give it mid tier because that's what it is. It's mid tier, ain't it? Because y'all kill off characters and you don't really need to kill them off. Charles Xavier didn't need to kill him off. You got Phoenix, Jean Grey. I guess you needed to kill her off. Anyway, on to the next movie in this franchise. We got the Godforsaken X-Men Origins Wolverine, which was complete shit, guys. It was horrible. It made no sense. They sewed poor Deadpool's Ryan Reynolds' mouth shut. I can't stress that enough. They sewed his mouth shut to where we couldn't hear Deadpool! I'm sorry, I lost control. But yeah, it's a sin when you make the most talkative character in the X-Men, in the mutants, and you sew his mouth shut! Sorry again. Anyway, we gotta get into our next movie. None other than First Class. First Class... It was... It was... I'll put it in meh. I'm pretty sure it was meh. It had some real good moments. It had some real shit moments. It had some bad moments. It had some good moments. It had Hugh Jackman's cameo as Wolverine going, telling them to fuck off. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful moment, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was. That was a good moment. But yeah, it's just the film isn't that memorable. It's a prequel. It's not that memorable. So that's why I put it in meh. Um, next, we got The Wolverine, which I think is incredibly underrated, therefore is going in good. Wolverine goes to Japan. Or was it China? Pretty sure it was Japan, right? They're the ones with the... Yeah. Where's the box art for the movie, goddammit? What's some of the box art for this damn movie? Yeah, it's Japan. It was Japan. None other than good old Japan. Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry you had to see my search bar, but I feel like it was a must. Anyway, Japan, the Japan feel makes this movie a hundred times better so it goes in good tier up next we got days of future past which I absolutely love this movie I love it so much it is so beautiful ladies and gentlemen this movie it gets me hard anyway this movie is quite good. It is... It's basically... Something, some shit goes down. They go... Wolverine has to go back in time. In the Days of Future Past story, it wasn't Wolverine who went back in time, but... Let's face it. Wolverine's more... Recognizable. So... Him going back in time made a lot more sense than Kitty Pride. But hey, that's the only flaw in this movie. But I can see why they did it because they wanted money. Well, they got their money. And I'm happy to have spent money on this beautiful masterpiece. Uh, next, we got X Men Apocalypse. Which I hate to say, ladies and gentlemen, this is our bad movie. It was just plain boring. It was so incredibly boring. 
I did not like this one bit. This was part of the prequel franchise. No, no, not even the prequel franchise. The New Beginning franchise. Which I'm pretty sure is also the prequel franchise, but you know where I'm going with this. It was bad. It was just plain boring. Nothing more. I did not like me no likey. Up next you got... Mm. We got Deadpool 1. I love this movie. So you know how... You know how next to the origins they sewed Deadpool's fucking mouth shut! Well, they gave him his mouth in this one. This is... This is basically a spinoff. And they gave him his mouth. They let him talk shit to everyone else. And they let him be funny. And you want to know what's perfect? Ryan Reynolds. Anyway. This movie was beautiful. Nothing can tell me otherwise. Up next we got Logan, which is the perfect climax. The perfect climax. The My favorite movie of all time is Logan. That is my favorite movie of all time. You cannot tell me otherwise. I love Logan. I will love it till the day I die. It gets the job done. It gets me hard. And it makes me climax so fucking good. <laughs> Why do I do this? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Logan was pretty good. It was... It was beautiful. It was. It's my favorite movie of all time. It told a great story. It was what we thought was going to be Hugh Jackman's last run as the character, but it. it's not. Thank, thank you, Ryan Reynolds! <laughs> thank you for bringing back Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Next, we got Deadpool 2. Next, we got Deadpool 2, which is a good movie. I play... No, not you. Deadpool 2. It's a good movie. I place it in between X-Men's 1 and 2. The reason I do this is because while it wasn't as beautiful as the original Deadpool, it was still pretty funny. It was still a pretty good movie. And my god, I will be damned if someone tells me no. Anyway, we got Domino in this. We also got Josh Brolin who played Thanos that year. To play Cable. So. <laughs> also Juggernaut's in this one. And he's as big as ever. Oh I thought he was going to make Colossus' cock ring. Anyway. Up next we got Dark Phoenix. Which is a bad movie ladies and gentlemen. It was so boring. So so boring. It was just. Boring as shit. Out of all of them, that one was boring. Origins was painful to watch. This was boring, so that's why I put it that bad. Because at this point in the Xbox X Men franchise, the franchise had gotten stale, and they didn't want to. They just wanted to end the franchise. They didn't want to fix it. They didn't. So they just released this. It wasn't good. Next. The New Mutants. This is the worst one! The reason I don't like The New Mutants. I watched it recently. I did not like it. It was so fucking stupid and unneeded. Not to mention it got delayed to oblivion. Watch. New Mutants. Look, I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to show... How many times did this film get fucking delayed? The 
trailer came out 2017. And they delayed it. Look, in January 2018, the film, it was pushed back to 2019. Allowed to avoid Deadpool 2. And then it got delayed all the way to 2020. Rescheduling for August 2019. That's the second re fucking delay. And then it ended up coming out in 2020. January 2020, Disney official. <laughs> New addition to the end. <laughs> what? Yeah, it came out 2020. After being delayed like three fucking times. It was delayed so much. This film was destined to fail. It came out on the course of other Marvel movies at the time. And they didn't want to release it when other big films was being released. Meaning, they didn't want to release it when Deadpool 2 was coming out or when Dark Phoenix was coming out. So, they released it 2020. When no Marvel movie was coming out, by the way. You can make a look back. I'm pretty sure there was no other Marvel movie in the year 2020. There was none. So, they did it. They released it then, and then it was complete shit because of the amount of delays and the fact that the movie was just not good. It was completely fucking boring. It was completely painful to watch at times. They tried a horror effect. I, I get what they were going for. I get what they were going for. But they sucked at it. They sucked at it bad. Oh boy. Not to mention, we don't, the reason I put it below Origins Wolverine is because at least I knew who Wolverine was. And I knew that Deadpool was in it, kind of. I knew Sabretooth was in it. I knew those characters were in it. The, another reason I put well, X-Men Origins in shit tier was because Gambit was in it. but Because I fucking hate Gambit. But then we got New Mutants, which... You probably know none of the characters in it. Like, because they weren't anywhere marketable compared to Wolverine. This sold more than this. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is my list of... My tier list of every Marvel X-Men Fox Universe movie. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I hope you enjoyed... Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is Matthew Houghton, signing off.